Hi, I'm Erin Pankratz and this is Mosaic Arts Online. In this online course, I will be showing you a few of the many ways to use tinted mortar to create colorful underpaintings on your substrate. I will teach you exactly how to make the smelty and mortar single, double, triple, and quadruple dots that you often see in my artwork. I will discuss color and context and combinations of colors to create a unique style. Next, I will tie in why we have created an underpainting by showing you how I layer and respond to the substrate with the dots and sticks. Even though it may seem like I am not using classical elemental rules, I am creating lines and flow. Really, all I'm doing is just pushing those rules a lot to create movement. Then, there is a really fun and useful bonus technique at the end. I hope you enjoy it. All of this will help you to expand on the different ways you can incorporate these tinted mortars into your own work. This online course is full of information so that you can go and play and explore the many ways that these materials enhance your own work. In the next section, there's a PDF with all the tools, materials, and resources that you will need to complete this course. So let's get started. Erin! Thank Hi. you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. And for those that don't know, Erin is very well known for a very special technique and his is going to be here now to share with us her dots and um, we're going to talk about that in this interview but first I want to know how did you get started in mosaic? How did I get started in mosaic? Um, well I have always been into art and cre I've made stuff my whole life. My mom um, is a fiber artist and so always making stuff and I went to art camp when I was in high school and I was exposed to uh, mosaic just breaking stuff up yeah, and sticking yeah. it. So I had that um, exposure and then I went to art school and then I kind of fell into it through the um, the gateway um, to mosaic art, which is a stepping stone. I was a gardener, so I, I made that and then it snowballed and I fell into uh, an online forum that uh, was about mm -hmm. fine mosaic art and I was like, you found Yay. your people. My worlds could oh, collide. Awesome. Well, you've come a long way. And a little personal note, I own one of Erin's very first pieces. We'll call it vintage now because <laughs> it's much different than the work she's doing now. So to go from the piece that I own to seeing the work you're doing now, which is incredible, give us a little uh, background on how the dots evolved. So the dots um, come from... Uh, I did a big uh, mural that I couldn't actually grout. So we were tinting the mortar so that it would hide mm -hmm. the gray, um, the grayness of the substrate and the, the, the stuff that splooshes out. And it was through making those, um, those marks with the tiles that I, I wondered how, how I could use that in other ways. Mm -hmm. And I also had all this leftover mortar and I um, started playing with it because I wanted to bring drawing back to mosaic. Mosaic is so static and right. I wanted, I have some drawing background, so I wanted to get that gestural feeling into mosaic. So I started drawing into the mortar and then I put um, my uh, dots, single dots with stones on top. And the idea was that each dot had a different color to denote a different day. So mm -hmm. it was, looked like it was an accumulation of time. And that's um, my piece, Penance, that uh, won the uh, Mosaic Arts uh, Mosaic Arts, Arts International, International at the Society of American Mosaic Artists. And yes. that was in 2013. Yes. So that's kind of how this culminated. And I just kept um, the evolution of it. Well, it's wonderful that you have your own style and you have it with creating the substrate that before the dots even go on. And we do have that other online course. So they go together really well. Um, but you have a very unique style and you've always pushed yourself as an artist, which is how you have gotten here. But give us a little bit more background on what it's like to push yourself as an artist and to really get out of the safe zone, because I think that's, you know, you could tell us that's probably where the magic comes from. Yes, it definitely um, trying things that you don't know are going to work. So pushing yourself to... Um, 
to push the boundaries of what you think is noble and what is safe. Um, and that's really the exciting time in the studio is when you're just like, wow, wow, well, look at what's happening. Or there's a complete disaster. You're working on something and something just goes really wrong. But then when you look at it again, you think, oh, okay, this little bit is really cool. How can I recreate that and use that? So it's um, working with, mis seeing mistakes not as mistakes, and also just pushing and pushing so that you find where that line is. Because if you always stay behind that line, you're never gonna um, get past it. You have to find it where, fail. You have to fail and, and, and see where that line is. And that line changes. Well, that's so that's it's awesome. yeah, it's all yeah. about exploration and, and trying really things. And also, I think strengthens that creativity muscle, right? Yes, it's not something you're born with. Nope. it's something you really work towards. It's a practice. And it's a practice. It's and a practice. If there's anything, I think any of us as artists can uh, share as advice that none of us got here on the first day that we went in our studio. No, we put in hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and then we just expand our own style. And you have done that brilliantly, and I cannot thank. Thank you enough for coming to share it here at Mosaic Arts Online. And I know people are going to be really excited to learn these techniques and see what they can do with them. Well, it's been such a pleasure. I've had so much fun. This whole process has just been a blast. Thank you so much. You're welcome.